Welcome back to another Lily Rose Dub tutorial. I'm using natural light right now, so that's why it's like a little funny going in and out. But I do want to get right into it. We're going to go in with our concealer, which is the Fenty Pro Filter. Also, this right here is like my mood board for what we're creating today. By the way, did I even say this? We are trying to create like a clean liner look. One of my favorite things that like basically drew me into Lily's um, just like everyday makeup or whatever. I really like all different kinds of Lily makeup like all different kinds of makeups that they give her. <laughs> I don't know. My favorite are like these clean, or one of my favorites are these like really clean liner looks where the face just looks super fresh. So first of all, hi you guys. Specifically, hey to all of Lily's fans. Everyone's so nice. I get messages on all my Lily videos and everyone's super supportive, super nice. She has like a really nice fandom, which is incredible. Like, <clears throat> so hi. I said hi to y'all last time. In the last video that I did, I went like super in depth. I went super in depth on like how I did certain steps and as far as like contouring and stuff. But we are also like, I didn't charge my camera, so I don't really want to take up the whole day and a half I'm trying to show y'all what I'm doing. I do look dead a little bit just because I hadn't put on concealer yet and it was just like a white cast of foundation because like, as you guys can tell, I'm white. <laughs> Oh no. Whenever winter starts to come, I start to get really dry around the face. So please ignore this. I'm doing this because I put some of this concealer under my face because I wanted you guys to kind of see like these parts of my face is to be brought out, which is something I've explained in several videos. So maybe you guys are sick and tired of me and me saying that all the time. We're still sticking with cream, but this time we're using the Fenty Beauty Contour. This is what I use because it's super gray or it's like ashy, but I don't think that it would work with most skin tones. It just, it works really well for mine. I meant to wash my brushes like last night, but I like kind of forgot. <laughs> And all I do is like blend up. Like if you want this like to be a bolder look, cream products tend to, their pigment isn't as strong as what I'm trying to say. So I just blend up. In a different video, I think the one that I did right before, like my different Lily video, I talk about why I do this. Also there's construction like right outside my building. So, um, sorry. I talk about why like the placement and uh, the way that I um, apply certain things. We're gonna try to create this like really sharp look. If this wasn't a tutorial on Lily, I probably would have just kept it where it was, like that first layer. But I'm trying to get pictures or take pictures and make it seem like I look like her, so. Also, you guys, so, okay, wait, actually, moving on, hold on, let me think, what's next? Now we, oh, we're gonna contour the nose. I think I explained this before, so I'm just gonna like speed through it again if you want like an in-depth tutorial on what I'm doing. By the way, I'm looking at the viewfinder. If you want an in-depth tutorial on like how I do the nose contour, watch my last video. I literally explain it all. How I blend and um, how to make your nose look a little bit more snatched, like Lily's nose is. Okay, but what I was trying to say though before was that I've just been like watching a bunch of like scary movies and stuff and anything that feels like fall to me, because it's fall, you guys. For me, what's more fall than like watching a country movie normally? I, like I'm not into country like I did I never really listened to country growing up or anything like that But for some reason the one country music so, sorry movie that I liked when I was younger and I've always I guess liked Oh my god, I totally forgot to put contour around my forehead um, for some reason Favorite is just that movie country strong rewatching it because I watched it when I was younger Did anyone else watch that like has anyone else seen that? I don't know. I fell in love with your headlamp again I mean, I know that he is like he's a baby daddy now, but like but like honestly like Honestly, just literally that's it. That's all I have to say, like honestly. Next, we're gonna go ahead and powder the whole face just to seal all of the cream products. We are gonna be using one more cream product for blush, but that'll be after and then we're gonna put powder on that again. I've always thought country accents were cute, but like, I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. This has nothing to do with Lily. So I'm just powdering the whole face with a press on powder that I have. The color kind of faded, which is what I was saying that could happen after you powder. Next is gonna be bronzer. Again, Fenty, like they were great for me. And I'm just doing that same thing where I'm blending up. Okay, you guys, I actually remember what I was gonna say. I was gonna talk about how. So the reason why I decided to do this look is I do have to do a school makeup look next. But I really wanted that to be like mostly cream because I really feel like Lily's skin is so 
nice. Lily normally has like a lot of, well, normally puts on bronzer on her forehead. Sometimes her liner looks, especially for red carpets, are mostly like neutral, smoky eye. Maybe, I don't know. Oh, I was thinking about, I forgot where this is from, but tell me what you guys think about me filming the next tutorial. This was a request as well as a natural kind of Lily look. This was a request from one of the girls that DM'd me on Instagram. So hi, if that was you. She told me that she really liked this look, which I'm gonna insert clips and a lot of people in the comments of some Lily like pages really also like this look. Originally I wanted to do two total Lily looks, but now since everyone is like super supportive and they just love seeing videos, I think like I just, my list kind of gets longer and longer. I have two more looks planned, maybe three, either one like full glam and then another one that will just be a natural look or two full glam like from an upcoming like red carpet or premiere or whatever and then a natural one what do you guys think tell me what you guys think also i don't know if you guys have noticed but a lot of the pattern that i have with these videos i'm pretty sure all of the stuff that i use is cruelty free but unless the brand kind of changed its stance on what they support or whatever um i mean i can't obviously control that but i'm pretty sure all of this is cruelty free that i'm using which is very important for me we're gonna go in with this product by Glossier. I'm putting it in the back of my hands. I'm gonna show you how I add that into my skin. So I kept looking for dupes of like Chanel that she wears. Apparently this one product that I have by Glossier is a dupe. I was like, what? Are you serious? I kind of don't like it that much. Like on me at least. Only because I feel like it doesn't do anything for me except make me look like I have bronzer on my cheeks, which is fine. But I feel like for my face, that's not what I want, you know? You see how it looks muddy? That's what it looks like on my face. I'm going to add a little bit of the p a pink blush. Milani blush that I kind of always use in every video. Just because like it's universal, you guys. Like you can use it for everything. So we're going to do a little swish and pop, even though this is it. Miss Charlotte Tilbury's. Also, I'm going to add in some highlight already because I like adding it first and then blending it out. I'm using the viewfinder as a mirror, so if you have a brush, better. I just literally don't have a brush. I, I keep forgetting to buy a brush for this. And then I have to film a tutorial and I'm like, oh wait. <laughs> Oops. We're just gonna add it on the center of the cheek. This will kind of give it dimension. It'll be a gradient of two different colors. My camera's throwing. Let's move on to the brows first. So it's the same product that I use like in every other in every video, which is the Anastasia Dip Brow. I do want to find another replacement for this because I should branch out. I'm actually gonna do it in one eye and then I'll be right back. I did the first eye, now we're gonna move on to the next one. A lot of what Lily has is like more of a bronzy kind of look, which she like wears more often. I still have yet to do the brows, but let me show you what I did on the other eye. I did buy Morphe, a Morphe palette because I needed more warm tones, which is funny because I still ended up using the old palette that I had from before, which is not mine, it's actually my sister's. I'm trying to recreate this Lily look so this is kind of like the line she almost like doesn't have it super sharp so i wasn't really bothered if mine was as sharp i'm going to show you what i did which was literally just a transition shadow which i think i just like mix and match also she doesn't blend it too far so we're not going to do that either here we're going to add a little bit more shadow if you don't have like a deep set crease like hers which i don't have and then like try to blend it down because her nose is kind of tapered my nose pinches right here so i try not to do that normally because it like it doesn't look the same as someone with like a wider bridge here if you blend this too far out it's okay we're gonna go back in with like a white shadow so we're gonna go back in with like a darker kind of shadow right here this these shadows do kind of have a lot of fallout um i first went in with kind of like a mustardy color we're mixing a few colors just to create this like almost it's not a gold it's almost like a champagne color you see an inner corner highlight we're gonna just deepen up the crease a little bit. What I do for the liner, and you can tell that she does this too, or even her makeup artist, will first go in with a brown kind of layout and then do the full liner because it makes it look smoky and it's more of a rounded shape rather than a foxy shape, like as far as the eyeshadow goes. So just to clean this up, it doesn't like smoke outwards. Using that dip brow product that we were talking about earlier, and just like literally following a picture that I have of Lily right here on my left. Yesterday I was experimenting and I noticed that she has this shape where it's more of a triangle here, like it's fuller here at the end, and then it's like super thin in here. Um, again, just following that picture that I have of her. So it's okay if you kind of make it fuller here. This is easier to clean up. It just kind of goes downwards. 
which is kind of funny to me because currently what's in is like making it look foxy and lifted but she does hers more turned down and i wouldn't even say it's like a korean kind of liner look but almost they don't fan it out this much what's the inspo here like did her mom could someone explain this to me did her mom used to do her eyeliner like this can i just say like literally after i said that and after i finished the makeup tutorial i literally like i'm obsessed i took like a photo shoot and i'm like obsessed so maybe i should like let the girl speak also eyeliner <laughs> mm, okay she connects the liner too she doesn't have it like super snatched let me try to finish this i really have to focus but basically it's the same thing i would what i would do is like keep looking at a picture of lily and go back and forth and make sure the shape is correct so we're really trying to get into the lashes because she has it so thin i'm sure for her like at this point she's able to just like do it and walk out the door but like this is gonna take me a while there's a little bit of a white space underneath where i put the liner and my lashes so what i'm gonna do is just like fill that out by putting like almost like dotting that space okay so now you guys can kind of see the i'm just gonna align my eyes Don't be too rough with this, but also you don't have to be neat. Can you see that there's like some of the product on my contact? I will take that out shortly. This right here, by the way, you guys, is actually a dark brown, not a black. And then sometimes there'll be a gap right here between where you lined your eye and your lash line. We're trying to make sure that that is filled. I'm trying to draw it on really lightly. I'm just gonna put mascara and kind of blend this out a little bit more to match this. I'll be right back. Brows I do a little darker. Hers are actually a little higher. Sometimes like the makeup artist will change up like her shape. She just has like different lines running through them, like this strong line across towards the middle of the brow and then shade this upper part a little bit. This arch that I have, hers is a little bit in closer. Her eyebrows are also just like more rounded in general. Mine are a little bit more straight. I tried to do a Megan Fox look and I did not even look anything like Megan Fox just because like obviously I don't look like Megan Fox. My camera died. So all I'm gonna do next is go in with my Anastasia gel brow thingy and just kind of lift up my brows. The difference between my product and the product that she uses, well, first of all, it's Chanel. It's more of like ashier tone. Guys, one thing about this like liner is the fact that when it's gel, it'll have more of a ref reflective finish which could make your line look more uneven, but I kind of like the messy look. And again, like if you see Lily's pictures, like she's not the most precise about it either. I feel like it's a little bit more for like an everyday wear, even though I swear she wears these like full glam looks and I'm like really like, I don't know if I want to put that much effort into my liner today, like damn. The more I step away, I'm like, I kind of look like a bombshell, which is like goals always. So next we're moving on to Liv. This was supposed to be a quick video, by the way. Oh, also, um, Morphe, you can feel free to sponsor me. If you watched my last video, what I basically did was uh, I went in with brow product because this one is a Morphe product that I'm going on with. Kindash on YouTube is a guy that I watch for makeup that I like to watch and he did this in one video where he used a brow product. Brow products are wax based so they dry hard. So this is what Lily does in one of the videos that I watch. She just kind of fills it in this way on the side. Same thing up here. I'm gonna blend that in with this brow product that I was talking about and just top it off. A part of that Morphe collection, we're just gonna go in with that lip product. I was trying to find that Madison Beer lip gloss that everyone's talking about right now. I literally couldn't find it. Everywhere it was like sold out. It is a little shiny, so I'm going to add some powder. What do we think? I think I'm done. Um, am I your local Lily Rose Depp? Just kidding. I literally had to do like full glam to even look a little bit like her. Have you guys seen that TikTok where it's like no one and then it's like Lily Rose Depp? Yes. If you watch my videos, 
you know and i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial it's more of like a neutral the difference between this and like the other ones that i've done is i finally decided to play around with liner because she really is comfortable using liner thank you guys so much for staying tuned like i really really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i really hope that you guys subscribe i'm going to be doing more lily looks like i said and i hope that you guys give me some ideas to everyone that has messaged me from the lily rose Step fandom hello hi it's nice to see you again hopefully you leave a comment again and letting me know that you guys are supporting me and i really hope that you guys subscribe that really helps me out i want to become famous and meet garrett headlam that is normally my outro but i feel like i'm going to insert a few clips my first and my most famous lily rose death video has so many views and i'm so grateful i'm sure i'm going to forget something else to say here but yes i will see you guys really soon